we're looking at a splendid example of a world atlas from the 19th century that is in a remarkable condition here. Look at that spine, my goodness. Almost as bright as the day it was made. The atlas is complete. It is like so, published by Mion. It is Geography Universal. And what we'll find here as we go through it is that each <clears throat> Uh, map is double page, like so. They are engraved. The engraver's name is there with original hand color. Each of the uh, maps has with it a double leaf sheet of text, like so. So what we'll do now to give you an idea here is flip through the atlas so you can see many of these maps uh, that are within uh, have vignettes on them, like so beautifully engraved vignettes. Actually, they're all signed by the engraver. Uh, there are at the front a series of historical maps. Look at this world map. This is beautiful. Mountain ranges across the bottom, vignettes at the top, tracks across the ocean. Lovely map. And then we get to this world in double hemispheres, like this. And we'll just start to we'll skip over most of the text leaves, like so just because pictorially uh, they're less interesting for our examination. But they're very relevant to the maps. And there's a series of maps relating, of course, naturally, uh, to France, uh, because the atlas was produced in France. And so there was uh, quite an intense interest in the country itself. Here, look at this. That's very attractive indeed, the British Isles. Yes, and beautiful map, the Alhambra of Spain. And we've got here Italy, of course, with Rome. We've got northern Italy here. What distinguishes this example is just how clean and fresh and bright it is throughout. Uh, any flaws uh, or age uh, toning or anything like that is very minor. Vienna of the Austrian Empire. It's just a very pleasing decorative atlas of the uh, around 1881, I believe it is. And here's Holland, the Netherlands. We've got Sweden and Norway. There's Denmark, Russia, Turkey, the Balkans. Greece, modern Greece. There we go, Asia. Hmm, that's interesting. There's Turkey and Asia, Mesopotamia, Syria and the Holy Land, hmm. Siberia. Beautiful map of Africa there. Yes, it's always interesting to look at the interior details. The vignette of southern Africa, there's the modern Egypt and the Nile. Algeria and the Barbary Coast. And we've got this splendid French uh, colonial map here of Algiers. And here's another one. <clears throat> and Oran. Look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. Just beautiful. And here we have some more of North Africa. Map of North America with <laughs> the shoot of Niagara. Niagara Falls there. Shows railroad connections now across the country. Two of them, actually, it appears. And there we are, a detailed map. Washington, D.C. vignette down there. And we've got South America. And that brings us to this beautiful map here of Oceania and inset of detailed map of Australia. And this complete atlas is now available online from me, Brian DeMambro.